everyone to know I'm listening to Tom G. Warrior, Celtic Frost. Oh, also, uh, there's this malware bytes I didn't read their user agreement and privacy policy and then trying to cancel the install and they're not letting me do it which is fucked up because I don't know what I agreed to I almost always read the shit that online and I'm pissed that it's not letting me cancel that anyway dude dude is brilliant um, anyway he makes me smile love his accent. I love that he speaks German because my best friend was like, I had a dream that we met Celtic Frost and you were speaking German to them and I was like, I could have, why didn't we? But I've never actually spoken to a famous person whether, yeah. Although I did one time maybe yell at one of the baby metal girls, which sucks. I just... I was trying to defend her, but I didn't really know what was going on. I had earplugs in and was having paranoia. This dude... was talking some shit about how people in their 30s have probably never even seen Celtic Frost live. That's bullshit. I saw them back in like 2006, 2007, 8 or 9 or 10. Because I used to love this band, um, Goat Horror, and they, they, they were the headliners for one of the times that they were touring in Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, and I love hair, so that dude, the, the lead singer, his hair is amazing. It's so long and, like, wavy. Jesus. And then he does this thing where he's all, <laughs> or something. But, like, he does it a lot cooler than that and stuff. Um... Anyway, this lady said, there, that's cool that you could drum, not many people, not many women can keep up. I don't remember, not, there's not many women drummers or something, and uh, I'm kind of interested in searching for female drummers, but, but like, I, I thought that was interesting because the lady that, the lady that taught me, that was my, you know, percussion teacher, uh, she was a female drummer, and she was a badass. No kidding. She was just cool. Um, and then the dude that even got me in the band, he was from, he was Chinese and <coughs> he must, music must, must have been his passion because he was always, um, like bringing in students like off the streets basically. Like literally they'd be walking from class, you should join choir, you should join band, you should join, you know, um, I think that's all there was. You should take music theory, you should play an instrument, you should play an instrument, like literally pushy ab about how cool music is and stuff, but I don't know. I don't think I'm that great. I just, I just like to mess around and stuff. I don't know, it obviously makes me happy. I'm literally smiling, so, uh, probably gonna be up all night. This shit sucks, but yep, I'm gonna be up all night, I bet. I can't keep a beat for long, I don't think. I mean, there's this time he, he told me he don't, did you hear that? He got faster. And I'm like, yeah, but if you don't breathe, you gotta keep a measurement, don't you? You gotta keep your own time. Like, the rhythm section, like, maybe the bassist is cool and shit. And you're like, the bassist is all boom, boom. Okay, that sounded like Star Wars to me, but, um, I don't know, maybe the bassist and the drum both, uh, chill and hang out and, uh, do the same thing together and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my favorite shirt. Ah! Okay, but anyway, I got a favorite jacket too. It was the one that just fell down gotta take care of that. Take care of your clothes. Um, but favorite towel, everything. Just having a good time tonight. I sang some. Uh, I really like music. God, I wish there was someone to hang out and play music with. But 
but I don't want to talk to people. Public speaking is easier online, and you end up you end up speaking in public. There's not much of a difference between public speaking and speaking in public, um, to, or at least not to me, because it's scary as hell and stuff. So uh, there's that. And I'm like, Grady, you doing all right? Grady, Grady, come here, Grady. Anyway, it's five minutes. That's that's good enough. 